Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 5, Climbing the Ladder, our Football Manager 20 Journeyman. We're at Football Club Lebendorf in Austria, and we are not doing badly. Uh, we did have the loss to uh, Lentz and the draw with Leifenberg last episode. Uh, then Lentz beat us 4-0 in league action. They're just much better than us. Uh, Dornbun, we had a 0-0 draw. We did lose or they lost uh, Jochen Orez in the 71st minute. A 3-1 win over SV Horn. Barsanti found goal again. Daniel Beck, our right winger, and Philip Somner, our leading goal scorer, up top in the 93rd minute. And Lafnitz, we beat 2-1. Dreesen and Petrov with another goal from the spot. So we are back for the final two matches of the calendar year. Still looking to figure out what what this th two month break is for uh it's not an international break i don't guess some leagues just have that i think we have had some some leagues i don't remember where but i, I know we've had some leagues somewhere where they just have a break <laughs> like shut down all right maybe it's a uh, maybe it's quarantine maybe we're uh social distancing during this time i don't know uh but anyway 2067 something to think about all right, we are back uh, for the two matches today, Wacker Modling and Lustenau. Let's get to it. We are on the road, but we are favorites, so we're going to go with our road tactic. Um, I have put everybody back into training because usually I let the uh, assistant manager handle that, but because we do play a few odd positions, uh, I have all these guys training at their primary spots. And Somner, I want him in. There we go. And I had actually changed those guys. I'm going to put him as an advanced forward. It's a more natural position. We play a lot of advanced forwards in some of these nap tactics anyway. So see if it does anything. I really haven't seen a difference uh, with Polisteris moving up into the mid and dropping Petrov back. So um, we're just going to keep it as it's been having some success. A morale boost. Final two matches of the first half of the season. All right, we are off the mark. We're in blue today. Let's get creative. Want to keep an eye just, all right, we're up to 60%. So you know what? Let's move up into our attacking tactic here, our home tactic, which is a little more attacking. And that's where we've definitely made some changes to the primary positions. Uh, demand more. Oh, look at the ball. Interesting coloration. All right, good job. Barsanti makes the break on it. He's into the box. He's through. Oh, my God. Oh, the left. No. <laughs> Come on. What a drive by Barsanti. Wow. Malachik's into the box. Sumner heads it. It counts. I thought he might have been offsides. No signal from the assistant referee. And we get a seventh goal from Philip Sommer, and we are up 1 0. Good job, boys. Let's give him some praise here down the stretch, keep him focused. Nine shots, three on target. We'd like a little bit better. All right. Play it calm. Come on, fellas. Demand more. All right, they're focused. Laser focus here. All right, I think we're going to go deep into the match here. Beck. Oh, what a volley by Barsanti. His fourth goal since joining the club. That was a beautiful strike. Looked like a jumping scissor kick almost. Slow that down a little bit. Because it looked like a jumping scissor kick. So it was into the six-yard box. They do go up. It gets flicked out. Look at that. He jumps up. Yeah, nice. 
Gotta like that, huh? All right. All right, let's praise him again. Petrov finds Barsanti. He drives back into the box, holds it up. Oh, Sommer has a shot blocked. Good block by their center back. All right, Beck is going to put it into the goal. Petrov hammers it down. Polistaris back outside. And looks like there's the offsides flag. Ah. All right. Everybody's in good shape. We have signed a new goalkeeper. He will be joining us January 1st, which is when I guess the next transfer window opens. Remember our first season here after two seasons at Bonnie Rig Rose, back to back promotion campaigns. If you have not seen those, Definitely worth checking out. Oh, taken down in the box. That's brutal. And Petrov, that midfielder, is going to line up for the penalty once again. This should put us up by three. Oh, what a save by Bourgeois. And I spoke just a touch too soon. That was an all that was a worldie there. Oh, and there's another good grab. Header was on target. All right. All right, let's go ahead and make a sub. Let's take Petrov off for Kosman. Strikers are fine. Malachik for Brosh. Let's do that. Let's uh, praise. Well, they play it short to Kosman. Oh, and he takes a shot from just outside the box. Had a little bend on it, but not good enough. All right, and let's go ahead and pull Beck off for Kohler on that right winger. Tighten up. They're frustrated. That's okay. We pull two points, and we dominated that match. Five chances, two goals. Got to like that. They were recently promoted, so this was a match that we were picked to win pretty handily. So three matches on the bounce with wins, and we are on 26 points. Reed is running away with it on 33 points after 14 matches. But we are not doing badly. Let's take a quick look at that goalkeeper. Again, he won't be joining us. In fact, I don't know if it'll do any good. I hadn't scouted him. He's Italian, if I remember correctly. All right, so Barsanti. We, we may end up having to sell him just because we, we ended up paying him a lot. <laughs> Look at the difference. He's going to get a salary increase to 31000 He's five times that just because of what we had to pay. Now, that's a guy, if I could afford him, He's 18 years old. If I could get him at 21, let's see if we can get him pretty cheap. Let's offer 24. And they bump it to 950. There's nothing about 950 in there. My scouts have said 93 to 275. So I don't know. I'm going to go 150 and 30. And we'll just make that offer because if they're jumping that high, either either my scouts just have no idea what they're talking about or they're on crack. So we did scout all the goalkeepers that were out of contract and under the age of 29, I think. And this is basically what we're getting. So I and we didn't scout this other guy. Uh, so let's see. All right, so we we were able to see what he had. Uh, no, he is Austrian, so we, we actually had him. So 15, 10, and 7. So he's only a 23, but we really don't have a backup keeper. So he's going to be crap, but it is what it is. We needed somebody. He looked the best of the bunch as far as ratings. So are we back in 
20 days. Is that correct? That is 20 days. Holy shit. All right. Well, we'll be back in 20 days for the second match. All right. We're back. Philip Kohler is, uh, got injured in the interim and he is coming back into form. Uh, Matt sharpness is a little down, but his condition is back. So let's look at the match today. We are on the road against Lustenau. We are underdogs. They're six to four favorites, even though they're five places behind us in the table. So we're going to go with the away tactic. And let's see. Alta Baumer, Alta Baumer, Dreesen, Brosh, Malischik in the back. Gob's going to be on the left. Summer and Barsanti on the right. Summer has missed a few matches, so it'll be good to have him back in. Getting back into form. Everybody liked that comment. Very good. And well, Lustenau gets the first shot of the game. First two shots. Let's demand more. All right, they're focused. All right, clear it out. Uh, Beck, that was a wasted header. Good clearance. Summer's on the break. He's got three defenders. Can he? No, he holds it up. Bounces over. Oh, Barsanti to Beck. Oh, and Barsani gets the follow-up. What hustle by the Italian striker. He got to the ball from Sommer, laid it off brilliantly to Beck, and then ran in to position himself for that rebound. And we are 1-0 up in the 17th minute. All right, Palisteris comes back to control the ball. And we are on the attack again. Beck, Petrov. Beck out to Malasek. He gets tackled, and we lose it. Ah! Somebody get there. Thank you, Brosh. Back over to the center back, and we are back on the attack in the midfield. Controlling the ball. Over the top. Nice ball to Beck. Summer just wide of the goal. Ooh, that was close. All right, let's get creative here. All right. We got a little break there. Oh, Beck. They were looking for Beck to go deeper, and he did not either. He didn't make the right run, or it was just too far. And I think it was probably the latter. That's one thing I'm going to have to do here is, uh, is look at building up our passers because that was that was what we did at Bonnie Rig, and I think that's kind of my philosophy right now is to develop guys that can move the ball by passing it. Beck, great first touch. He's on a breakaway. And that was about the worst finish one could imagine. All right, that's a short ball. Good block. Out to Barsanti. He's tripped. Gab makes the overlap. He's in. Oh, no! Polisteris. Oh, some unlucky blocks there. Some unlucky blocks. We signed another, or we've got an offer in on another goalkeeper. This one popped up by my scout. And he's he's definitely backup quality, but I think he might be. Oh, nice ball to Somner. Oh, what a ball in. And Polisteris can't find the goal. Uh, we should have had a payoff on that one. Demand more for the final 10 minutes. Beck near post. Oh, he's going to play it all the way back to the keeper. Please don't screw around back there. I'm getting a little heart palpitation going on here. Oh, over the box. Sumner. 
And that was a good save. Somner should have put that one home. That was a great break by him. That one goes up into the stands. And we are left fruitless from our efforts again. That was a nice first touch pass. Good defense forces them to lay back. Keeping the pressure on them. Oh, that's a danger ball. At some point, we're going to get a break there. Oh, Barsanti, he's on a breakaway. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. You got to make that pay off, especially for what I'm paying you, man. <laughs> oh, the header goes wide from Brosh. Barring any unforeseen mishap here, we're going to nurse that 1-0 lead into the half. We have dominated the game on shots. Uh, tell them they're expected to prove a point. We don't have any fouls, so that's good. Uh, you know what? I am going to drive it up into that attacking tactic. Demand more. All right. There's a yellow for Malachik. A uh, good steal. Whew. He's on a yellow. That that makes your uh that just makes you skip a beat there a little bit. All right, lay it off to a ball handler. Oh, there's a foul on Addison. All right. Let's go ahead and pull him off for Kurt. Uh, Brosh, tell you what, Brosh and Kurt, I'm going to swap you guys. Yes, because I want Kurt in the middle. Everybody out top is playing well. Uh, Gob, we're going to move for Ellers. And we're going to ask for some passion. Oh, the tap in by Barthol, his first of the season. We had a lot of guys right there, but the ball just sat there on the line, and we let that get away. That was a little unlucky. Yeah, that was not... All right, looks, looks like we're a little pressured here. Oh, that he just gave it away there. That's horrible. Now, now we're going to possibly fall apart. Oh, Dreesen, well, he got a clearance on it, but it goes right to their side. Oh, good job. Some, oh. And we're just giving the ball up, man. That is brutal, brutal ball handling. All right, Oof. anytime it goes through like that, I get a little freaked out. All right, well, oh, good save by their keeper. Come on. Good control. All right, we keep possession. Out to Beck. Beck beats his man into the box. Taken down. That's going to be a penalty. All right. I don't want to take Petrov off. What is his uh, his penalty taking is an 11. Yeah, we, we need that in there. Petrov's playing, an, or Beck's playing an 8-6. Uh, Sumner, Barsanti, Petrov. Like Tigger. Now, what's his marking, tackling? Yeah, we're going to leave him at the defensive mid. I think he'll be a good fit back there. All right. The last shot he had saved. Oh, he put that one in nicely. All right. And we want to drop back into that. 
and we want to do some time wasting and we're going to drop our line and condense defensively there all right Petrov puts us up 2-1 in the 78th minute. Come on, fellas. Let's tighten up. All right, they are frustrated, but you know, we need to we need to see this one through. Come on. No highlights. I am happy with that. Another game that we dominate statistically, we get out with the and they had a player sent off. I didn't even see the red card. Was that the... That was not the penalty. All right, well, that's crazy. I'm just not seeing those red cards popping up. All right, excellent effort. Another victory. Three more points. And that puts us up into second position. Now, we're still seven behind Reed, seven points on even footing. But that's that's Okay. That's okay. We're doing well. 23 goals for us. I'd like to see more goals. 16 against. Defense has been solid, if unspectacular. Kind of right in line with most other clubs. But I think we are doing good. Um, we did get another bump with money. Let's see if it shows us what that income is. It's this uh gate receipts that's not it sponsorship yeah it's this this league money the league is paying us money af after every nine games for having a certain number of austrians in the lineup i don't see that anywhere in the rules i did go look but it was you know it's a nice chunk of change i don't know what's causing that um, but hey, you know, certainly not going to turn it down. It's this right here. Yeah, we got 118. No, that's TV revenue. So I don't know, but it's, it's some type of money paid out to, you know, just for finishing. Do we have prize money in this league? Uh, rules. Yes, we do. Not a lot. But something's better than nothing. But only the first gets promoted up, and it doesn't look like there's playoffs. There are three relegated. Yeah, there are no playoffs. So it's all or nothing. You win or you stay home. All right, where are we going to come back? I guess we'll come back. Um, let's come back for top of the table, Reed, and for Wine. That'll be one and four. And that'll give us three matches, but I got to get through this two dead months, which is a lot of clicking buttons. But we want to get uh, our new players in. We're going to have a new goalkeeper that may or may not start. And um, I'd like to maybe move a couple of players and see about signing another center back if I can. So, you know, I'm going to be looking in that transfer window to do a little bit of business. But we'll get through February. We'll be back March, 1st, March 3rd for that uh, Reed match. So we'll see you guys then in the next episode. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.